Hey everyone, I'm just checking in about the timeline assignments once again. Um, I've also just barely caught up with um, scoring for Unit 1 with everything except for Twitter. Um, so if you haven't yet seen me add you to the list called New Mexico on Twitter, that probably means I haven't found you there yet. Uh, so please send me a tweet at CNM Brandon if that's the case. Um, or send me an email to get, let me know what your Twitter handle is so that I can make sure to uh, give you credit for all the work that you're doing there. Regarding the timeline, once again, um, initially when I designed the class for this summer, I decided that uh, all three sections of my New Mexico history classes would work on the same uh, course timeline on Tiki Taki, and that's the way I set things up. Um, just a couple days into it, though, I realized that we would probably really easily exceed the 200 entries that are allowed on a free Tiki Taki timeline um, if all three classes are working on it together. Um, so to prevent that from happening and trying to um, overcome unforeseen issues with crowding and different things, I decided to separate the timeline assignment into three separate timelines. Uh, so please go back to the timeline assignment uh, document that you can find in the timeline tab or in the syllabus and double check the login information for your section of New Mexico history. If you're in section 51 your timeline will have the balloons in the background so that's the one that I showed in the tutorials and everything. If you're in section 52 um, you'll have the New Mexico flag, the yellow with the, the red Zia um, as your background and if you're in section 53 you'll have a uh, map of the early New Mexico territory after 1848 in your background. Um, so that will let you know that you're in the right place, um, that you've added the right, or that you've entered the right login information. Uh, I've noticed that some of you are still, no matter what section you're in, adding your, your posts to the uh, Section 51 timeline, which was the original uh, timeline that I was going to have everyone use together. I think that's probably the case because if you logged in before I made the switch, uh, your browser might remember your login information um, and just take you automatically to that one. So again, please go and double check this and make sure that you are in the right one. Um, there are a few of you that posted in the uh, wrong one, and so I'll just be contacting you and helping you move those over. Um, I know I apologize for the trouble and inconvenience right now, uh, but I think that doing this now will save us uh, more problems and bigger problems in the future. So I think things will go much more smoothly um, by doing this now. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to continuing to build the timelines with you.